Hello everyone, it has been a really long time. My name is Josh from the Nintendo channel and welcome to another video. Today is a pretty sad day. As the time of this recording, it is the date of his passing, or at least the announcement of his passing. It was maybe about a few hours ago that I discovered that Hiro Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, uh, the character artist for Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, and many beloved franchises has passed away. And I just kind of want to talk about it and really just kind of reflect on his legacy and what his works brought to my childhood. In my childhood, I am mostly only knew him from Dragon Ball. Didn't know him for really from anything else uh, because I grew up mostly in the late 90s, 2000s. Chrono Trigger was not really a game that I was into at the time. Uh, and that was a lot older than at the time a lot older than I was, so I wasn't playing Super Nintendo. I didn't have a Super Nintendo. Unfortunately, I didn't play that game growing up. So, And then there was Dragon Quest. I didn't play Dragon Quest because as a young child, you don't really play a lot of story-based games until much later in life. Or at least for me, it was a little bit later in life. I know some people played Final Fantasy, but that's off topic. But yeah, Dragon Ball was my first exposure to Akira Toriyama. Dragon Ball Z was the first thing that I did and my brother was the one that really introduced me and we watched the anime together on the early 2000s, maybe mostly the 2000s was on TV. We would just come after school, I think it was maybe about 4 o'clock-ish it would be on and we would watch Dragon Ball Z, do our homework and then go outside play. After a few years I kind of just, just stopped and we went to other things and I discovered watching Dragon Ball Z again and really loving it because it was action-packed and it was just really cool and all. I think that's what a lot of people were attracted to. It was just the story was rich. It was just power-ups, you know, dudes fighting, you know, fighting against evil. And at the time, it was just awesome. And it still is awesome. And then we got the video games. And the video games were awesome. Budokai 1, probably one of the best Dragon Ball Z video games out there. Now arguably I think Budokai 3 is the best, but don't at me. The legacy of Dragon Ball just kept continuing. I kept getting game after game after game. I got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. That was the first like 3D fighter one that I played and I love that game. It's just, it brought so many memories. It wasn't the greatest one honestly. I think the second one is the best one, although people say the third one is the best, but come on. The Dragon World was so much better than the story mode on Tenkaichi 3. Gameplay might be better, but I don't really care that, too much about the gameplay. I remember back in high school playing that game, Tenkaichi 2. I think I remember getting it in like 2008, 2009, and playing that game a lot, and then just really enjoying that game. I just kept going, kept playing it, and it got I don't think I got really good at it. I remember playing as Vegeta and then just spamming, uh, what was it, Wave Blast Volley over and over and over again because it only took, key, what was it, two key bars or something like that and then it would just, it would just lock onto your enemy and they would have no chance of getting up and it would be just absolutely ridiculous. It was so fun and so funny and my friends would get so mad at me at doing that. I remember I would give them the most overpowered spec Goku or Vegeta and then I would just beat him with standard Vegeta because he would have that wave volley and it was just so OP. Going back to his death, it was really quite shocking. Mostly because it was just very sudden. It just came out of nowhere. In fact, that me and my friends prior to this recording, we were playing Triforce Heroes on the 3DS and my friend was like, oh crap, he died. I was like, what? No way. So I had to look it up and there it is, is the announcement that he had passed away. And I just didn't know how to react. I think my emotions just went into sadness because it's really hard to lose an icon like that. I guess to me, if I could compare it to anything else, it would be like, Losing Michael Jackson and losing Elvis Presley and someone that was like a huge icon in their industry and to lose them so soon, that is a gut punch. Because you just, you didn't think they would, you know, go like that. And it's heartbreaking. You don't want to see an icon like that pass away. And there was still a lot left. I mean, I know he wasn't directly involved in Dragon Ball Super, but he was still a supervisor. 
And I think the anime will still continue without him because I know that they're still currently developing more of the story and stuff like that, but it's still without his input. And he was still working on other projects too. Like, wasn't he working on the next Dragon Quest game? Or no, there was a, call, there was a game called, like, what, Sand Blast Kingdom? Sand something Sand Bit Kingdom or something like that. Or Sandland Kingdom. I think that was called Sandland Kingdom. That was based off a, a manga that he did a while ago and that never really took off and now they're making a game behind it i'll definitely be getting the game to kind of support toriyama again and also just to delve in to that franchise because that franchise really hasn't had anything outside of maybe like an ova or maybe like an anime series or something like that i don't really remember much about it to be honest i think i'm just gonna wrap it up here so what do you guys think of akira toriyama's death I just want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm usually in a more better mood and my videos are a little bit different. It is mostly gameplay oriented and I am not really in a rant and I'm not really like super emotional. Oh, I can be pretty emotional, but I'm not really in a way of kind of being mel melancholic as in like sad and kind of a little depressed about it. but. I'm usually in a much more happier mood and a much more animated mood. So if you want to watch more of my videos, uh, be sure to click the subscribe button and also make sure to like and comment on this video. So what is your thoughts on Akira Toriyama's death? What did he bring to you? I'd like to know in the comments. This is Josh from Lieutenant Chill signing out.